lamb lollies with Twihang's own twist. The eating experience simply speechless. Let's start right away with the making of the lamb lollipops marinade. One teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ground rosemary, both for its flavor and to protect the lamb meat from oxidation. One quarter teaspoon of ground thyme, half teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Please, to upgrade this marinade, add two and a half tablespoon of any organic cooking oil. Then, whisk energetically. Pepper to taste. Put a third of the marinade in a small covered container. Store it in the refrigerator to be used at a later time. Let's see quickly how to cut this marvelous meat. Here's an example of how it should look like when you buy it. An 8 chop rack of lamb, already Frenched by the butcher. You and I will take care of separating 8 nice chops and to assure the same thickness for every chop. For the filming and the accelerating purpose, I've already started to chop them. Make sure to use a very sharp knife to assure an even thickness for every chop. And put a kitchen towel under your cutting board, which I forgot to do. As you can see, my board is moving a bit, so yes, put a kitchen towel under it. The meat at the extremity of the chop is always thick here. So simply cut it and make sure the part with the bone is as thick as the others. This left boneless piece would be a bonus. Mmm. Oh, it's still thick, so I can cut it more. The same thickness will assure a uniform cooking, so as for aesthetic matter. If you remember, I forgot the oil previously, so I just try to keep up as I can. Combine the lamb chops with this remaining two-thirds of the marinade. Coat all the chops. What a mixture of flavors. Cover. Just adding here a little bit of oil. It's optional. Cover. And leave it in the refrigerator for 12 hours to thoroughly unify the flavors. After a minimum of 11 hours in the fridge, bring the lamb chops on the kitchen counter. Let's move on with a creamy celery yak puree. So here's what it looks like when you buy it. So we have to peel it off by removing a great thickness of the skin. You see, this one hasn't been peeled enough. The surrounding of the celery yak is very fibrous, which is not ideal for creating a smooth puree. So keep removing this fibrous layer. The end result looks like this half. Place one cup and a half of celery yak cubes and three tablespoon of onion cut in one cubic centimeter in a small pot. Pour just enough water to cover these two ingredients. Cover and turn on the heat to maximum. Once it reaches a full boil, lower the heat to halfway between medium and maximum. Then cover again. Once the fork can easily prick a piece of celery yak, drain it. Add to this container two tablespoons of cold milk, one tablespoon of cold butter, a powerful blender is the secret for the smoothest puree. While the milk and butter are still cold, add in the cooked celery yak and onion cubes. Blend it until the smoothest consistency.
Transfer the puree back into the small pot and add salt and pepper to taste. Cover and keep it warm over minimum heat or over the warming zone of your stove top. The final step is the express cooking of the lollipops. Use a 20 centimeter non-stick frying pan. Put 3 quarter tablespoon of any organic cooking oil and melt 3 quarter tablespoon of organic butter. Turn off the heat immediately while preparing for the light flour coating. This is a gluten-free recipe, so sprinkle 1 tablespoon of cassava flour over the entire surface of a clean plate. Yes, cassava flour. Only coat one side of the chop. Every lamb chop should be side by side on the plate. Only the side facing down should be floured. Here's our two bonus boneless pieces. Turn on the maximum heat. Be careful not to overheat nor smoke the oil before adding the chops. Place the floured chops side down. You can use a pair of kitchen tongs as an alternative to these cooking chopsticks if you wish. Enjoy the real-time cooking now. And let's feel the cooking process together. Enjoy the smell and give it some good thoughts. Now, immediately lower the heat to medium-high. Once the floured side is moderately golden, turn the chops over. The chops should only be turned once and the cooking time shouldn't be longer than this, since we want the chops to be cooked to medium rare to stay true to this marvelous part of the lamb. You can even shorten the cooking time for a rarer meat. Pour the entire one-third of the marinade directly on the bottom of the frying pan and not on top of the chops. Hold the frying pan handle and move it in a rotative movement. Just like this. Don't flip anything here. Remove it right away from the heat. Then, heat the celeriac puree, salt and pepper to taste. The lamb lollies are medium rare now, so let's remove it.
This optional step is to deglaze the pan by pouring two tablespoons of a red wine over maximum heat. Stir with a wooden spoon to not scratch the surface of this non-stick material. Slightly reduce the sauce for less than a minute. Within that minute, dress the plates with the hot celery egg puree. Turn off the heat and nicely place the lamb lollies on the plate. Drizzle with this quick sauce. Please enjoy thoroughly.